Yes, All right. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to start it so we can get out of here quite soon. Yeah. But oh, that was going to be one. Though. The whole, the whole re So the whole reason that we're doing this is uh, Ben had asked me to basically just kind of share, honestly, kind of a list of general thoughts with you guys as I'm leaving, um, and it's just a lot easier for me to do that uh, talking to you guys instead of writing it kind of long email or something. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, this is basically, you know, in a really brief format, a lot of my thoughts about the last decade of my life, right, big things in my life lately as I like to see here, ultimate school and other things in life, and I just want to touch on each of those great things we're going through. Um, so the point what we're going to do, these are just things that Ben asked me to talk about. Um, first and foremost, how to grow as a player, so we're ultimate players, and for better or worse, I've got with um, individual people on this team related to time management. Um, some of you guys have had to suffer through that and listen to me talk to people about that. Um, but you know, I'll give just a brief version of that. Uh, ben also wanted me to just talk a little bit about how to grow as a man, right? So I mean, my perspective on you guys as you come in um, as, you know, 17, 18 year olds, and it's, that's, you know, you leave here as ideally a productive member of society, and that's, you know, a small part of what we do is make sure that Carnegie Mellon, your experience here, grows you as a man, and I just want to talk about how ultimate factors into that. Um, and the last thing is just a couple of brief comments about uh, where Mr. Yuck has been and where I'd like to see us going. So we talked a little bit about this in our team meeting the other week, uh, but I just want to throw a couple slides up to just kind of hammer that home. Um, so first I'll just, you know, to talk about how to grow as a player. When I think about how to grow as a player, I think about my trajectory first, how I got to be where I am now. Uh, when I think about this, it, it really starts for me in the summer of 2000, 2001, um, where I learned how to throw. <laughs> um, so I spent a lot of time throwing with my older brother, Micah, uh, when I was in high school. And see, so we started to play ultimate, and a number of you guys have commented on how that it's sort of obvious if you see the two of us playing. Um, so there's just an example picture of the fact that you know our flips are basically identical, right down the face we apparently made. When we <laughs> uh, uh, so th that's kind of where I got my start. From there, um, after I went off to college, I eventually started playing um, on the tough speed team. And for me, that was kind of the beginning of a, of a process that is really very much ongoing still. Um, that be that process is how do I get me as a player from my origins on a B team, ideally up to club nationals this year. Uh, and, you know, Tufts was where that all started for me. Uh, from there, I transferred to uh, Bucknell and I played on the Bucknell A team. Um, in 2004, I started playing club in a co ed team called uh, Red for Co ed. After that, came to CMU, played as, um, you know, a, a captain and a player at CMU. Uh, was of course here in 2005 to 2007, uh, and also throughout my time in Pittsburgh, uh, 2005 to 2010, I've been playing uh, in the Pittsburgh Open community in various iterations of Open teams here, including Bird, Forge, Ironman, um, and then you know we're, I'm either going to have one more season here as a mixed player or going to be up in Boston. Um, so for me, all all these phases sort of taught me different things. The, the first thing that I primarily learned in Tufts was, was a lot of work ethic. It's a program that's known as um, having a ton of you know great athletes, great workers in that program. Um, also, a lot about mentality. How do you think about the sport? How do you train for the sport? And the offensive and defensive systems. I mean, some of you over the years have heard me talk about my first experiences at Tufts and you know, what those systems were like. We've played with some of those, we've incorporated some of it, we've thrown some of it away. Um, but I learned all of that as a young player at Tufts, and that was, that was huge for me. When I went to Bucknell, uh, I learned a lot about how to be a support player, how to be a role player. So I jumped up to the sort of 18 level for the first time, and I was in a position where I was playing right next to guys that were a hell of a lot better than I was. And my job was to find a way to slot into the offense primarily and not be in the way, right? Let our big dogs go make their plays and make sure I didn't turn the disc over. And that, you know, that taught me a lot to, to learn you know, how to be a role player in that scenario. 
when I came to CMU, um, as expected to be to be a leader. By the time, obviously, I was captaining the team. Um, I was also one of the three or four guys when I was playing. I was expected to go out and make the big plays, perform under pressure if we needed to get a couple breaks back. I was the guy who was supposed to go get the Ds. I was the guy who was supposed to go make the plays. Um, that took a lot of getting used to. And at the club level, for me, um, all of those things happened kind of again. Um, and ultimately, it culminated in a lot of learning how to teach people, how to motivate people, how to uh, lead you know, my peers as a club captain, how to lead you guys as a coach. Um, and for me, this is, you know, every piece of this has been really important for how you grow as a player. And that's something, you know, I, I want you guys to try to figure out is, you know, what, what parts of these things do you have? What do you need to work on? Where are you? Where do you think you need to go? Um, so I feel very strongly that you know having kind of a foundation built on work ethic, mentality, approach to the sport, and you know progressing through these phases. You know how do you be a role player? How do you be a leader? How do you deal with the pressure of having to be the guy who's supposed to go win the game? That kind of stuff. Um, that's you know I, I'd encourage you to try to figure out how to do that. And to the extent that you can get yourself out in a teaching role in the sport, that's huge for you. That, that's you know. I've, Improved more as a player over the past four or five seasons as you know a captain and a coach than I had you know the five before that. Um, so just in, in sort of a really general sense, I want to talk through a couple of things that I, I think are really important for developing as a player. Um, and the, the first thing for me is, is get inspired by something, right? So this uh, this for me was pretty easy. These are a couple of pictures of uh, my brother Michael. Uh, playing at Club Nationals in 2006, right? This is, uh, I guess, you know, two shots from him playing against Dog, which was a big deal at the time, right? Death or Gore is, you know, there's still a great program at the Masters level, but then they're playing uh, in the Open Division and they're making a lot of noise. And the fact that the guy that I competed with growing up, the guy that I knew I could run right with, I could be an athlete right next to, he's playing against guys that have won world championships, right? That, that was something that was hugely inspiring to me. It made me feel like I can, I can play the sport, right? Um, and I just want to show you this, this other picture, which really was one of the first things that, you know, I saw a picture of Ultimate and said, you know, holy shit, that's, you know, that's a crazy play, right? And so this is a picture of Jeff Graham, um, who then was captaining Twisted Metal, was progressed on through the years. Last season, he was the captain of Byron's side. Um, he's a great player, he's a great dude. Um, he's one of these guys that's been sort of endlessly inspiring to me. This player in particular, and what I want to show you is actually the, the video that, that this guy shot, um, if I can. And this was something that was really kind of um, important to me when I was young, is you know, realizing that these, you know, how important plays like this can be inspiring to can be. Um, 
sort of speaking of training, um, the next sort of hugely important thing to develop as a, as a player is to put the physical work in the game, right? So it's, it's hard. You know, it's, it's hard work to be a good player in this game. Um, and for me, I love this picture. This is one of my former uh, club teammates uh, named Stu Kellner. He was a great player at Pitt. He was a great player at the club level in Pittsburgh for a while. Um, 